Hello friends, uh, let us first uh, generate a horoscope around which we will discuss the accidents related rule in a person chart according to Krishnamurti Paddhati. So here are the birth particulars. The year is 1946 and December 17 December 17 the time is 12.45 and the place is Anand in Gujarat Anand. I realize when uh, you are uh, selecting a city then you have to click twice over here then it gets selected so 1946 December 17th 1245 p.m. places Anand And the rest of the settings I have left as default the and the only couple of settings where I need your attention one is the the Rahu and Ketu calculation that's a that's a mean calculation and second is the notes signify it's Rashi Lord only I have discussed about these settings uh, in one of my videos. I think uh, the the initial one uh, where I introduced the Jyotish portal, or I think also in the Amitabh Bachchan chart, where I showed you that uh, by changing the setting, how the planet signification table, especially the sublord of the nodes, uh, get changed. So this is the the horoscope of the person and uh, let us set up the the worksheet view or what I call as, as the KP canvas view where all uh, relevant information and even extended information is visible at one glance so all the the charts the the cusp chart the lagna chart and the planet signification then there is some extended information where you might want to look for the sub the degree of the planet and the sub sub lord and similarly the cusp significator table is there and apart from that the the quick information for the cusp the the degree and the cuspal sub lord is also there so this is a nice uh, KP uh, canvas view where uh, you you don't have to scroll back and forth and up and down looking for the related information. This view is going to help you set your focus and this has been thoughtfully designed to help increase your productivity. So now let's look at the kp rules so we are going to look at the kp rules related to the accident escape from accident mode and place of death and there is a couple of other things that i am going to discuss uh, specific to this horoscope the primary houses that gets into focus when it comes to 
the accident related reading these are the house the the first house which indicates the self or the body the eighth house which is the uh, for injury and accident and the twelfth house that uh, uh, creates the need for the hospitalization so when all these three houses are in focus and there is a, a bhavayuti then the that particular dasha antar opatintar becomes uh, vulnerable to uh, accidents and all that so the 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 basic grouping is 1 8 and 12 i have seen in some places where the fourth house is also uh, mentioned but i couldn't find this uh, in the kp books and i think one of the reason might be the because the fourth house is the house of uh, uh, vehicle also so and most of the time people relate accident with some kind of uh, accident while driving uh, a car or a, or a motorbike or some vehicle but uh, there are a lot of other kind of accidents it's not necessarily that uh, all accidents involve some kind of uh, uh, of a vehicle you know a person gets drowned in the water that's also an accident or a person falls from a height that's also an accident so uh, 1 8 and 12 uh, the combination covers all various kind of uh, accidents and now let's extend and expand this combination so if you if you add the houses two and seven why two and seven because both of these houses are the mark house then the accident uh, becomes uh, of serious nature see here we are not saying whether the accident is going to be fatal and uh, result in death or not we are just trying to gauge the seriousness of the accident so uh, shri shmurti in one of his articles has mentioned that when the this particular combination uh, the 1812 uh, is uh, is supported by additional combination or the additional support from the the marak houses then the accident uh, becomes uh, of serious nature and when this combination also takes on the support from the bother so then it's it becomes uh, quite fatal so the the 1812 with the marak and bazak both so becomes a, a kind of a fatal accident but it is for the sub law to eventually decide whether the the accident is going to result eventually in some kind of uh, death now when the accident giving houses these combinations also have this kind of a uh, signification from 1 5 11 and 9 that it then it means that a person will meet with an accident but he or she is going to survive uh, the accident and it's not going to be uh, a fatal accident now there are some more uh, kp rules which i am going to uh, list over here so 1 4 and 10 shows that the end is in his or her own place so what does this mean that uh, uh, at the time of accident and if that accident is uh, is fatal uh, and if at that time during that the shah antar and pratyantar the significator related to 1 4 and 10 are active then the end uh, of that person is in his or her own place now this combination is 
is independent of the uh, accident as well so usually when sometimes people ask that uh, uh, about the mode of death whether it's going to be a peaceful death whether it's going to be a death far away from their home or in their home or you know, those kind of questions are there so this this particular rule is uh, about the mode of uh, death and the death could happen because of the accident or death could happen because of the natural reason so but the kp rules are that one four and ten shows the end in his or her own place then the six eight or twelve six eight or twelve indicate death in the jail or in the hospital or in an unknown place ninth hour means death will happen during the long journey in a far off place so these are all logical uh, consideration within the kp astrology additionally i think uh, the one can make use of the 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 element fire, air fire water and earth to elaborate on the uh, the nature of accident and the air is where it could be because of some uh, movement or because of uh, traveling in a in an airplane or in a vehicle and then fire could be by fire accident by fire and water means the drowning and earth is uh, other type of uh, natural uh, accident so if within the framework of the accident rule you can one can make rule one can make use of the uh, these elements and for the accident the malefics are mars saturn rahu and, K and ketu and shri krishnamurti has also mentioned that the jupiter's aspect on the lagn and or lagnesh is beneficial you see you meet a lot of people uh, who are prone to some kind of uh, trivial or petty accidents now and then and you will you will have them sharing their stories that how they were caught into a bad situation uh, where there could have been a great uh, body injury but they had a narrow escape or they had a divine escape so uh, the probably these uh, kind of people the horoscope of these kind of people um, uh, where the jupiter aspect on the lung and the lung mesh could be traced so uh, so these are the rules and generally in kp it is easy to identify the the bad the sha antar and pratyantar uh, from the accident uh, point of view you can uh, you can make a list of the bad periods according to the the core rule the 1812 but the other details like uh, you know the one that shri krishnamurti has mentioned about uh, the mode of death in a far off place or while traveling and those kind of a things and even the uh, the accident uh, because of some fire uh, disaster or by drowning and all these things this uh, uh, this data is not much available uh, within the uh, kp framework so this is a li little bit challenging and uh, to pinpoint the other details related to the accident and i think uh, some more of uh, collaborative effort is required to gather more data so now uh, let us uh, look at this chart and identify the possibility of accident and also underline the dasha antar and pratyantar the the prob probable period that uh, this person might get into some kind of uh, accident and we will just focus on the the mercury dasha that uh, this person is currently running 
and the mercury period is also going to end soon so we will just find the significators and try to identify the period within the current mercury Mahasya. so let's first look at each of these planets and so ketu ketu is okay ketu is not bad and, uh, see when you have these uh, the the fifth and the ninth appearing at the sublord level or even at the star level then these are good houses they tend to uh, protect someone from the bad yogas related to uh, physical injuries then let's look at the the venus now venus in this chart needs a, a special focus because one it is untenanted and in many of my videos i have uh, pointed this out that uh, the the untenanted planet uh, takes on some special uh, strength in the kp system so venus is in the eighth house and venus is untenanted so venus is a very strong uh, significator of the eighth house and then if you look at the star lot level then it is in the star of Jupiter that's also representing both good and bad houses. The 8 and 1 is bad but at the same time 1 and 11 is uh, good. And then finally at the sublord level Mercury is not bad. Uh, and so, so Venus is definitely prone. Venus makes this person prone to accident though uh, we know that uh, this accident might not convert into any kind of uh, fatal death. Then we look at the sun. Sun is also kind of harmless. And then the moon. Moon also we can ignore. And Mars, since Mars is a natural uh, karak for uh, physical injuries and all that. So it's a good idea to take a a good look at the Mars but Mars in this chart is fine and Rahu is untenanted very strong but Rahu is not showing any strong uh, yoga related to the accident Jupiter Jupiter is in the self star Jupiter is, is in its own star Jupiter is in the eighth house and Jupiter is indicating both the good and the bad houses so the Jupiter is uh, is bad for the accident but at the sub 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 lord level it's again supported by the good houses and then saturn saturn uh, for the pisces ascendant saturn is the lord of the 12th house so so if you look at saturn so saturn is quite bad in this horoscope you see what happens is that unless uh, the uh, uh, the twelfth house is in the focus. A strong twelfth house is in the focus. Unless that, unless that twelfth house is in the focus, the need for hospitalization is not there. A person might uh, uh, get involved in some minor uh, accident without requiring any major medical help. But the twelfth house indicates that uh, this is the time that the person might be required to. be admitted in the uh, hospital so the saturn is bad and then mercury is also bad because it's also very strongly indicating the 12th house at the star level so let's uh, so we found that uh, the the venus jupiter and then saturn and mercury so these are the really bad period and you'll you will note one thing that venus and jupiter the natural benefic planets in this horoscope are all set to uh, create a yoga for uh, some kind of an accident so shri krishnamurti is uh, saying that no planet is good or bad it uh, even benefic planet like the venus and jupiter are not always uh, benefit it depends on the specific aspect of life 
or a specific question that you are focusing on 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 a particular horoscope so in this horoscope from the uh, from the accident perspective these two planets have become uh, uh, very bad and then let's look at uh, the the dasha the current uh, uh, period the that this person is going and So this is, if you look at the, uh, the, the is, is already going through the Mercury, Mercury, Saturn, Mercury. Mercury, Saturn period will, that started in 2021 and the, and will end in December 3, 2023. So the mercury saturn period you know for sure is not good and, and, and the because it's already indicating the 12th house both mercury and saturn the both are indicating the 12th house and if you look at saturn saturn in at the sub level is not good it it is also indicating the uh, the first and the eighth house though it's all, all also indicating the first and the 11th house so you know that if at all there is an accident and there should be one uh, because of this uh, the way these uh, planets are signifying the bad houses but this person should be able to have uh, uh, an immediate medical uh, aid or medical help so uh, and then the uh, the uh, other planet that's bad in this horoscope is the Jupiter, the Venus, right? So because Venus is untenanted and Venus is very strongly connected with the uh, eighth house uh, at this level. See the untenanted planet at this level, even at the very first level, becomes very strong significator of uh, whatever house is they are they are signifying. And then, so Venus is very strong at uh, the column one and column two. So one period that you can easily identify is the uh, Mercury, Saturn and Venus. Another period within Mercury Dasha that you can identify is Mercury, Venus and Saturn. So these at least these two periods you can easily identify and uh, and let your client uh, know that these periods are not not good from the accident perspective and also uh, let the client know that uh, the, uh, the 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 there are good uh, uh, positive uh, combinations as well so the accident is not going to prove fatal, but the hospitalization might be required. So I don't know what happened to this person during the uh, Mercury, uh, Venus, Saturn, but during this period, the Mercury, Saturn, Venus, he fell in his own home and had a very, be very bad uh, kind of an accident. So in fact, uh, he sent me an email, the, about what uh, what kind of body injuries he had and i'm going to quote from his mail so he mentioned that uh, he had head injury with uh, frontal lobe contusion and uh, these are all medical terms because this person is a medical uh, uh, practitioner and he's the owner of multiple uh, hospitals so the during the march saturn venus he met with this accident he fell in his own home and had a very bad accident where he had to be rushed to the hospital he was in the hospital for uh, about a week or 10 days and had to go through various uh, uh, surgeries so now one of the things uh, if you look at the detailing of mercury saturn venus then you might think that uh, because the fourth house is in the picture, Venus is in the picture, Mercury represents the third house. So uh, it, it, then you might conclude that this person might meet uh, with some kind of a, 
a vehicular accident but this didn't happen he, it was just uh, he fell in his own home so that is what i was mentioning when i said that some of the detailing related to the nature of accident how it is going to happen those kind of stuff are not uh, uh, much data i could find uh, uh, in the kp books and articles and not many horoscopes are also given maybe somebody might have uh, done some research and collected some data so if you are aware of that you you can share that link or some information in the in the comment section otherwise i feel that uh, the the collaborative effort to gather some more data will be very uh, helpful and so so and now another question the this uh, person asked me was about the the K2 period after the accident and this was a, a major accident and so he wanted to know about the K2 period because if you look at the Dasha then you find that in December 23 the Mercury period will end and then he will have the K2 Dasha uh, start and that's going to end in December uh, 30. So by that time he will be already 83 years of age so uh, and he is very active uh, in his business and like i mentioned that he is the owner of multiple uh, medical facilities so now if you look at the 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 k2 in his horoscope so you see the k2 is indicating the the ninth house and the fifth house and again the ninth house and again the fifth house and again the ninth house so this particular combination where the when you see the a planet repeatedly pointing towards the the ninth and the fifth house is not good from the business perspective because the ninth house is the twelfth to the tenth house and fifth house is the eighth house so what happens is that when a person is uh, i would say in his young age and uh, uh, busy with his uh, or her uh, career so at that time if uh, this kind of a dasha or an, the antar dasha uh, is active where the fifth and the ninth uh, are, uh, are strongly reflected then this uh, represents no stability in career and no fixity of purpose you see you have these many times people approaching you and asking you that they have been switching from one job to another job or they have been switching from one business to another business and nothing seems to be working there is no stability and uh, this always in a flux so things are always in a ch in a changing mode that happens because of the fifth and the ninth of when it becomes uh, active because of the dasha antar and pratyantar and the person uh, you have to also look at the age of that person if that person is uh, uh, is of uh, uh, young age uh, where he should have been active in business or the job at that time then the these kind of a thing no st no stability in career and no fixity of purpose a nowhere kind of a person you know that 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 kind of a thing happens but if you in this chart since this uh, person is already uh, 77 years of age and i'm pretty sure he might be contemplating about uh, retiring and, and k2 is one planet that actually creates this uh, retirement mindset uh, uh, and at the, at the same time, K2 is strongly indicating the the ninth and the fifth house. You see the ninth, the ninth, fifth, nine, fifth. So all these are not, all these indicate that this person is definitely going to be retiring from uh, his his business. Though K2 uh, is indicating the the tenth house and the second house, and so it's not that he he will completely. Uh, cut off uh, himself from his business and 
but it uh, it is pretty sure that uh, the the business side is going to be in a more dormant kind of a state and this person is going to be in a more uh, uh, retirement uh, uh, mindset and the ninth house also shows some uh, some journeys that he he might take and if you look at ketu ketu is in the ninth house you see the the k2 is in the ninth so k2 in ninth also create the opportunity for a person to go and visit uh, some holy places the pilgrimage so those kind of thing should happen during the k2 period another thing that you should notice is that k2 is in the star of uh, mercury and mercury in this chart is the uh, badak because for the pisces ascendant the seventh house is the uh, badak sthan and mercury is the ruler of the seventh house so ketu is the ketu is indicating the second house which is a mark and then ketu is very strongly indicating the seventh house at the star lord level and the sub lord level so ketu period is not good uh, if you look from the mara and badak point of view additionally the about the mode of death it's uh, like i mentioned i really don't have much uh, data to point it out that uh, what kind of uh, what will uh, whether he is going to have a peaceful death or whether he is going to have a, uh, uh, a death while traveling or in a foreign place but since i looked at uh, the combinations uh, in the ketu period and i i i think and like i mentioned i'm not sure but i think he should just have a peaceful kind of uh, uh, end uh, during the uh, ketu period and sometimes people also ask that uh, whether uh, this particular person uh, when he or she dies will there be any satisfaction on their mind so for that you have to look at the 11th house but uh, the mode of death is still i don't have any data if i have later then i will share that with you so that's all uh, in this uh, video. I hope you enjoyed watching it.